plasters and bandages could soon be fitted with the shells of crabs to help cuts and scrapes heal faster. The key ingredient in the dressing is a mineral called chitosin found in crustacean shells. It is known for its healing properties as well as its ability to kill bacteria and has been used in China to treat battle wounds for centuries. The high-tech alkyte dressing, believed to be a world first, has been designed by the Fibers Science and Technology team at the University of Bolton, which has patented the product. The team has now developed a commercially viable fast healing wound bandage and plans to sell it later this year. In ancient China crabs were smashed open and thrust into wounds in battles because chitosin is antimicrobial, meaning it heals and kills bacteria. The team behind the research is led by Professor of Fiber Science and Technology, Mohsen Maraftab, working alongside the Knowledge Center for Materials Chemistry. Professor Maraftab said, Alkyte is a composite fiber, combining alginate, which is drawn from algae, and chitosin, found in crustacean shells. Alginate and chitosin both have a history of being used in medicine. Chitosin is naturally antimicrobial and accelerates wound healing activity, so it does heal and kill bacteria. Professor Maraftab's team is the first to successfully create a combined fiber strong enough to form a wound dressing, through a universally patented technique. Other dressings set to revolutionize the industry include the Helix-inspired prosthetic grafts. Nano-prosthetic grafts have been developed which could alleviate the blood vessel blocking problem associated with fine prosthetic vascular grafts. These grafts would be surgically positioned inside the body to treat a variety of conditions, such as coronary heart disease. Current narrow grafts are prone to calcification and cholesterol buildup which eventually closes the fine arteries and could lead to death, but Professor Maraftab's grafts have a unique structure which is based on the helix, a structure at the center of life, DNA. They are less than 6 mm wide and use a technique developed by Professor Maraftab's team. Professor Maraftab said, as blood flows through the veins it does not move in a straight line of motion, it spirals. By creating a helical structure within the graft we keep the blood moving in its natural path, sweeping the interior of the blood vessel as it moves, hence preventing calcification. The prosthetic grafts technology will now go for further development and testing with project partner universities and a lead graft manufacturer. Currently Professor Maraftab's team is working on a tendon healing technique which can improve the current surgery options for damaged tendons, replacing with a tendon made from collagen textile-like fibers. Tendon injuries are common in athletes and are notoriously difficult to heal. The Bolton team has discovered a unique technique to spin collagen fibers, which can be interwoven into the damaged tendon, offering a natural scaffolding support on which cells can grow successfully. Collagen fiber technology has traditionally lacked the ability to create fibers that can be produced continually and controlled, until now with the university pioneering a highly specialized technique, which produces a continuous, single fine thread, developing a strong structure with controllable flexibility, and on which cells can flourish. Professor Maraftab said, this technology was initially developed through a European-funded project and it is currently undergoing production processing optimizations and laboratory trials. We will now be working with targeted companies to explore how we can best exploit its potential.